Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and it's time for another two-minute tech tip. Today's tipster is Oracle Ace Director Scott Spendlini. Scott is the Oracle Apex Practice Director for the Accenture Enkitech Group, and he's the author of Expert Oracle Application Express Security, published in 2013 by A-Press. How are you doing today, Scott? Oh, not too bad. Enjoying another day of freezing rain, sleet, snow, or and hail. Hey, life is good. So is. what's the topic of your tech tip? I'm going to talk about some tips to keep your Apex applications more manageable. So if you are ready, your two minutes starts now. Okay, I'm going to tell you a few tips on how to make your Apex applications a little bit more manageable so that other developers can use them and maintain them without your help. Number one, comments. Put comments everywhere, whether it's your PL SQL code, views, or Apex components. Little known, at the bottom of every Apex component, there's a little place where you can put your comments. Use it. Number two is shared components. There's a lot of different value that you can get by using the shared components. I'm going to talk about three of them. List of values. Anything that you can promote to a shared component list of values versus an item list of values. Those will be more reusable throughout other places in your application. Also, make sure that every list of values is dynamic and it gets its values from tables. If you put static values in there, if you want to change those values, you'll have to basically redeploy the app. You don't want to do that. And lastly, share data across your applications in the list of values where applicable. Consider using a central table to store all commonly used LOVs. Second one is build options. Build options can turn on and off components of your application very quickly. Use these to enable functionality or perhaps disable functionality that doesn't need to be enabled throughout the year. The third one is application items and components. Anytime you use an application item, set it through some sort of function or query and get the value from a table. Again, it's just like list of values. If you do it this way, any code change won't impact it, and you could easily change your value and have the application change without redeploying it. Next, global page. 30 seconds. Formerly called page zero, anything on this page will render on every page in your application. Apex 4.2 has a global page per mobile and desktop UIs. Definitely use these so that you can share common components across different pages. And then lastly, PL SQL. Push everything to PL SQL. If you're making a call, Ten use seconds. The call to call a PL SQL package. The more that it's in PL SQL, the more that you can use tools that are designed to manage PL SQL, such as SQL Developer, Subversion, etc. You are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a great tip. Think up another one. We'll do it again. All right. Sounds good.